just to show you how powerful normal maps and low res geometry can work together. And that has to do with this little piece right here where it's very smooth. There's no hard edges. Everything has either a tight bevel or in the case of the corners, they're extremely rounded. And if we look at the silhouette, it's protruding enough out from the surface that it significantly breaks the silhouette. So it's not really something that I can gloss over and let the normal map do all of the work. Even though it would probably look fine from this angle, it would break down really quickly once we start orbiting around. And so I'm going to um, pick up the topology here and I'm going to keep the geometry very simple. Instead of adding, you know, a couple, let me switch to median point and snap to the surface. Instead of adding a couple edges or a couple verts right here to take care of the rounded corner, I'm just going to leave it one vertex for one sharp corner. Let's hit Alt M to merge at last, giving us a triangle. I'm just going to move this corner as if these edges continued into a point and where they intersect like this. And then continuing with the uh, extrusion, I'm going to come all the way down here to the another corner. Let's just trace the whole thing in corners, single vertex corners. And then connect it back into the rest of the geometry. Do a triangle here. Whoops. There we go, and fill all of that in. And then for this um, in gone, let's extrude again, scale it so that the corners match here as well. I'm just gonna push that to the top side so that it's completely on the flatter side of this extrusion. Okay, so you can see how we've approximated the shape, a much more simplified version than what the high res is. I'm just gonna hit J to join an edge across there. So we've got uh, quads and tries. And now if I hide everything else except for that shape, well, actually, instead of doing that, I'm just gonna move the smooth version off to the side so that we can compare it essentially. There we go. So a, a much simplified, almost two jagged version of this until we add the normal map. Once we bake a normal map, hopping over to Sketchfab, we can see what it looks like. And it's completely convincing. You know, we still have the extrusion depth that's breaking up the silhouette. But as I start to orbit around, we immediately lose any hardness of those corners. And it reads completely smooth. The only time that'll break down is when you zoom way in and start looking at an angle like this. That's when you'll see the sharpness of the corners, which will never be this close to the object in game. So zooming out, the normal map ends up taking care of everything. So I guess I want to share that with you to demonstrate how powerful normal maps can be in conjunction with smart geometry, even really low res geometry.